Welcome to VideoSeminarLive.com. Today we are going to be showing you how to host a webinar. A lot of people come to us and say, yeah, I would love to host a webinar because I am sick and tired of traveling. I hate hotel beds. I hate sitting in airports. I'm ready to do this from my home or office, but I'm not sure I know how. Well, let us take that problem away from you and show you how easy it is to host your own webinars right from your own office. So to do so, I've prepared a little presentation in PowerPoint like you will before you do your presentations. So let's talk about the three basics to hosting a webinar so that you can be on your way to performing webinars like a pro. Three basics. Be prepared, keep it simple, and use audio and video to your advantage. Let's briefly discuss these three. Because I want you to focus on the PowerPoint, I'm going to go ahead and click maximize the screen up here in the top right hand corner so you're focusing on what we're talking about, not me, the good looking guy up here in the top left hand corner. Number one, be prepared. Well, of course you don't have to get a banquet room and you don't have to order a whole bunch of food to entertain all the guests that you're going to have at your seminar. You need to prepare all of the slides, all of the content, and everything else and make sure your attendees know how to get on your session, when to get on your session. Now, the great part about web-based video conferencing is most of that is a piece of cake because if you know how to send an email, you can send out an email invitation with your website address where they need to go to attend your meeting. All they have to do is simply click on that web address and they can enter into your meeting. They enter in their name and their email and there they are, right there in your session. Now, what are you going to need? Of course, you need to prepare a PowerPoint presentation. If that's what you're going to prepare, make sure you have it ready. If you want to prepare some graphs or some spreadsheet that you've put together, make sure those are also available. Pictures, of course, can also be uploaded simply. Let me go ahead and just show you how quickly and easily that can be done. Before your session or even during your session, if you would like to do it, you simply click on Options go here and click here to upload content. Of course that's always better to have uploaded before because anything you have uploaded will stay here in your currently uploaded uh, content folder. So it's easy, it's at your fingertips, you're ready to go. You can switch between slides easily. Let me just show you, I'll switch real quick to my other PowerPoint presentation where we talk about the power of video. We can flip through a few slides, uh, we can pull this up and I can go through and browse through a slide. You don't see anything I'm showing until I decide to select on the slide. But let's go back to our other PowerPoint presentation and talk about a little further about what we need to do to present like a pro. As you know, a little preparation goes a long, long way. So make sure that you have the things you need prepared and ready to go. We make it easy with the content manager. Now, keep it simple. There are so many presentations out there. Normally presentations last between 60 and 90 minutes. That's great. But if you don't keep it simple, guess what? Your attendees, they're everywhere because they're on their computers. They're not sitting in front of you. There's nobody watching what they're doing. If they want to minimize your screen and start watching something else, it's easily done. Make sure you keep it exciting. Use your tools to keep them engaged. If using your tools simply means to to turn on the whiteboard so that people can draw and you can highlight and say this is important or I want to make sure that you know so I'm going to circle this in red short simple and to the point if you miss that you're going to miss this whole PowerPoint keep it simple make sure they're engaged don't lose their attention use your webinar to your benefit number three use audio and video to your advantage explain what you're doing to the attendees to help them transition from one item to the next, like this. I am going to show you just how powerful video and audio is by letting you see my video and of course you're hearing my audio. So in order to do that, I switch back to my video screen. Now if I really wanted to focus on video, I could maximize my video. Now you see me in big scale. If you want to have it big scale and you want to focus on just this video portion, make it bigger, lock the screen so that your customers and attendees have to see it large. But if you want to have it multi-focused, video in the top, screens here on the right, you can minimize it down. It's all up to you. At Video Seminar Live, we've tried to make it so you have all the power 
and the control and all the tools you need to be successful. So use audio and video to your advantage. Another powerful thing that you can do with audio and video is you can allow another one of your attendees or guests to hop on and answer a question or ask a question or you can be the interviewer and interview your guest or another special invite so that it's very interactive. A lot of people kind of call it like the Larry King Show. If I wanted to hop in here and ask a special guest, hey, you're a professional at hosting a webinar, tell me, what have you done to be successful in hosting a webinar? Well, there they are right below me on audio and video, and they can explain to the audience what it is. We have the power to allow up to six people to broadcast their live video to any number of audience members. That's power. That's using audio and video to your advantage. Let me talk to you about another powerful feature using audio and video to your advantage. Let's say that I want to act as a host, but I need to have a special guest that I want to invite to my session so all 100 or 300 of my attendees can see us and I can interview him or her live. It's a great feature. It's very interactive. You'll see that the audience starts asking tons of questions because it's a live interview. It's kind of like the Larry King live show. Let me show you a slide actually I have of a show we did where we were using actually four live video feeds. Of course like the uh, picture there says we can use up to six live videos but there we have four live video feeds. Use audio and video to your advantage. Create exciting, powerful, collaborative and engaging meetings. Let me show you a few other things screen share. If we want to screen share we can show our screen whatever we have on our desktop with anybody. We can show them software. We can show them website design. Lots of web designers use this to show their customers and clients clear across the country just how they built their website, what things they need to change together on the same screen they can talk about it, fix it, and go forward and get it done. Very powerful tool. Of course polls and surveys are a huge part of webinars you want to know just what your customers think, how they feel about it, and how you need to tailor your meeting as you go forward. One of the popular questions obviously that we ask when we conduct webinars is, have you ever used video conferencing? So I simply click on this right here. I can alter the results on the fly if I want before anyone sees, and then I simply click begin voting. We begin voting. Of course, everybody can vote. They can change their answers until I decide to close voting. Once I've closed the poll, everybody's done voting, we collect results. Now a lot of times in the webinars, you don't want your audience to see real time what the results are. Well that's okay. Go down here and show only the results to you as a presenter. Then they don't know what they are. You of course know what they are. You can see all the results here. You can talk about them and you can discuss them. You need to create a poll on the fly? No problem. Quickly create a poll. Type in whatever you would like right here and off you go. And it couldn't be simpler to create polls. Of course, in our prepare, 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 you'd want to have this prepared before. It's powerful. The tools are yours. Use them to your advantage. Create more customers. Create quality leads and build your business. Let's talk about a few of the other powerful features available to you as a webinar presenter. One, of course, is screen share. A lot of people bounce between their PowerPoint and some kind of internet site. If you're a marketing campaign, obviously you're talking about internet campaigns, possibly your AdWords counts, whatever it is. So it's imperative that you're able to show your screen. Simply click the Start Screen Sharing button. You're going to load up your presentation right here. As you can see, it moves off to the side. So we simply minimize this window while we're screen sharing and now you can see everything I have on my desktop you can now see it's all 100 percent browser based absolutely no plugins to install and very powerful and easy to use let's not talk about it anymore go to our website www.videoseminarlive.com and sign up today